So there is this theory called inflationary cosmology, which I would say has been the dominant paradigm since early 1980s. So what does that mean? Roughly 40 years now, it's been the dominant cosmological paradigm. And it makes use of a curious feature of Einstein's general theory of relativity, his theory of gravity, where Einstein shows us mathematically that gravity can not only be attractive, you know, the kind of gravity that we're used to, things pulled together, but it can also be repulsive. And that fact is then leveraged by people like Alan Guth and, and Andre Linde, and at the time, Paul Steinhardt and Andreas Albrecht and others to say, okay, if we had a little nugget in the earlier universe, which was filled with the stuff that yields this repulsive gravity, well, that would have blown everything apart. It would mm -hmm. cause everything to swell. Beautiful explanation for what the bang in the big bang was. And then people mathematically analyze the consequences of this idea and they make predictions for tiny temperature differences across the night sky that in principle could be measured. You send up balloons, you send up satellites with very refined thermometers, and they measured the temperature of the night sky and the statistical distribution of the temperature differences agrees with the mathematical predictions.